Well, hey folks, welcome to the Wolf Den. You just caught me messing around with some brand new JDM Diowa Reels. Just got them in the mail. So what am I doing? I'm greasing them up a little bit. These are, <laughs> I saw these and they were really cheap and they were all the way, again, from Japan. These are called Super Dynamic S 150 Dialas. There's the box. All right, let me put my reading glasses on here so I can see a little better. Uh, of course, all the statistics, 100% in Japanese. All the statistics on the side. Here they are. That's it. It's kind of a large, uh, low-profile bait caster. These for were brand new and I'm sure they're like old stock because the, the I mean look at the box the box is a little beat up here's the other one little little beat up okay but you know these guys over in Japan that have these shops or whatever they know there's people like me just chomping it to bit to buy some of this stuff off of them <laughs> but this is the Diowa Super Dynamic S150. And to give you a quick and dirty overview of this, these are nothing more than a large, sort of a large bait caster. They've got the power handle on them. Everything's plastic on them. Everything except the spool and a little metal piece in there and the, and the, and the handle. Everything's plastic. This is, or graphite, or whatever. Even the base, it's not metal. It's not metal. So it's really lightweight for its size. I'd say this is the size of a Shimano Corrado 300 EJ with the jigging handle. And they're just low profile bait casters. And from the ad on eBay, they don't have huge amounts of drag pressure. I think these have like eight pounds of drag max, something like that. But I said to myself, man, these look like great float rig and reels for float rig fishing. And let me also tell you something. You know, I, I was in the same boat years ago. I poo pooed every single reel that was not built out of metal. Well, you know what I learned? A lot of these built out of metal reels that are painted and things like that, in salt water, especially low profile bait casters. I got a Daiwa Zillion that have happened to. The paint starts bubbling because it's metal underneath and you get a little chip and a little salt. It's the same thing for all you hot shots out there who have those uh, powder coated T tops on your boat. Oh, wait till that shit starts bubbling and peeling off. I want to own that on a bet. But, so I used to poo poo things that weren't metal. But in the world of salt water, and I'm, what am I doing? When I'm float rig fishing, when I'm going to catch a trout, catch a redfish, these ain't huge. Whopper stopper smoke in the drag. Actually, I run such a light drag when I'm float rig fishing that my thumb is pretty much the drag the whole day. Um, so a, a graphite reel, as you know, I love the Shimano Triton graphites. It's because of the anti-corrosion-ness of them. So that's what this is. I use, when we're full-blown float rig fishing, I am so blinded. I am always on to the float. That's it, the float. I do it all winter. That's all I want to do all winter. So a low-profile, all graphite slash 
plasticky. I mean, this, I don't know how reinforced the real seat is here. But with a power handle, five to one gear ratio, simple. It does have, over on this side, it's got a clicking magnetic control. I guess this is magnetic. They call it line memory. So I put that at nothing because I got a perfectly good thumb. But what I was doing here with these is I got my little waterproof grease and I go in and I put a little on the, uh, the worm for the level wind and things like that just to salt waterproof them just a little bit more okay and uh, here's a little feature that this this reel has which I know makes it a it's a freshwater reel I know it's a freshwater reel but when you pay like 40 bucks for them I mean come on you ain't getting nothing like this in the United States for 40 bucks what you got is this little button here and that's the it doesn't affect anything except it's your f kind of flipping mode you hold that down hold your thumb on it flip it out boom come off and it's engaged versus push the button free spool then hit the handle and engages so you got this like little flipping button right here which can be kind of good for even float rig fishing especially like popping corking you know you pitch out there and you hold you hold your thumb down you kind of let it go you know kind of let it go and then you let your thumb off and it's engaged. It's engaged. So that flipping feature is kind of good. So these are my new float rig fishing reels. And of course they're going to go on some ugly stick stripers. And I usually run two kinds of float rigs. Uh, basically I run a rod with a pop and cork on it all the time or a one ounce float. And then I run another rod with my two ounce float. What's that going to do for me? By getting these all the way from Japan, from Aragato-Japan-Fishing, same place that I got my other Ajimatic Shimano Triton type reels. I got those from these same people. What's this going to do for me? It's going to free up two Daiwa Ryogas. And when I free up two Daiwa Ryogas, then I can stick them on some jigging rods. So when you go with me, I'll have a jigging rod for you because I got two jigging rods coming too from Japan. It's all in tackle, moving around and adjusting. Five to one gear ratio, that's all you ever need for float rig fishing. You always want five to one or better. I looked at these compared to getting, say, like the Cast King 9.1 to one gear ratio line burner uh, high speed low profiles. Well, to tell you the truth, I would much rather always go with Daiwa than probably Cast King. I don't know anything about Cast Kings. But these are old. Um, um, these are old models. So I figured I'd just show them to you. There's another set of JDM reels. I got these in four days, I believe, all the way from Japan, from the day that they actually hit the Japanese post office or wherever they send their stuff. New float rig fishing reels for the Jetty Wolf. For me. So, hope you find that enlightening. Um, I did talk to a guy that was on my channel and I said something about ordering something from Japan. Oh, I heard you can't do that. Well, you know what? You can hear all you want. And you, as a possible tackle junkie, are now missing out. Because there is a ton of great stuff in other countries that is that will never be around here. And um, like these, what, like 40, 4250 a piece. And yeah, there was shipping. But I mean, the shipping makes up for the fact that you'll never see these in the United States. And the funny thing is, let me just show you what they, what they gave you here. Is this is big in Japan. They give you this little, like, arbor, okay? 
And what this does, I'm not going to do this, but you take this little arbor thing in here, and it snaps onto your spool, and it automatically lowers the line capacity of your spool. Just that quick. <coughs> Excuse me. So, instead of piling tape or something, they give you this little thing to snap on. I could see it in the directions they showed. You kind of snap this on, and all of a sudden then a reel only takes like 150 yards or 150 meters of line, which is big over there in Japan when they're freshwater fishing. They're, they're not needing a bunch of line. They're fishing shallow. They're fishing really small bodies, I guess, of water. And... Um, but I won't be using it because many times I've float rig fished and let out three quarters of the spool. And then it goes down along the jetties, set the hook on a nine pound sheep's head. JDM specialist here. I'm uh, kind of kind of sure the uh, Daiwa Super Dynamic S 150s. Just a plastic bait caster that won't corrode, wasn't expensive, and it will be a perfect float rig fishing reel. They're just as buttery smooth, and they were brand new, even though I think they marked them as used on the eBay. These were brand new. These have never seen water. For about $42.50. And I don't know what the shipping was. I think maybe the shipping was something like 20 bucks. So, okay, $52.00. For each one of these reels. Sometimes there's deals, folks, and you gotta see them and jump on it. So thanks for stopping by. I'll see you again in the next video.